All right, torture talk. All right, let's talk about the music industry. And is it a good idea to get signed or should you do it yourself uh, for the most part? All right, so real quick, like, share, subscribe to the page if you're not, uh, if you're not uh, already. And let's get to it. So is it a good idea in 2020 to get signed to a record label or is it a good idea to just do it yourself for the past couple of years i think that it's always been a good idea to do it yourself but a lot of people they're just not educated enough to know that or they just don't know how to go about doing it and i believe in sharing you know uh, spreading the word and sharing i don't believe hiding and holding things for people so there's a bunch of different things you can do to get your music out there without being signed to a record label uh, one of them is going through distro kid uh you can either go through that you can go through cd baby and i think it's another one called uh I think it's called Bandcamp. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. And they all vary in pricing and uh, budget cost upload or whatever. Um, and a lot of people nowadays, they do their own thing. They do their own mixing. They do their own. Let's see, for, the, for, for a long time, a lot of us we were so caught up in that wanting to be signed to a record label, wanting to be a part of a record label, that we didn't... We didn't know that there were, um, and even, and let me say that there was times where it's not that we didn't know, it's just times that it wasn't accessible. They didn't have things like this that they have nowadays. See, signing to a record label now could be kind of detrimental to your music career because you're going to have to get an entertainment lawyer and your lawyer is going to have to read over the papers. And sometimes you got to get a lawyer for your lawyer and it's a lot that you have to uh, deal with when it comes to that. Outside of that, um, now that is, you know, you got free advertisement, you got YouTube, Facebook, uh, all the social media platforms. If you can build your own fan base, let's say you, you make a Facebook group and you build a buzz, you build your fan base and the people come there. You really don't need a record label right now. You know, record labels are for, they can get your stuff in places. And I can't even say that anymore. Cause now you have the outreach to actually reach anybody in the world. You can use use your phone or use your, your, your computer. And you basically could go on a, in a, in a, go on in a Japanese group that likes hip hop. In Japan you basically could do what you want it's just the footwork I think nowadays people when they are signing to labels the reason why they're signing or using labels as distribution deals or getting in these deals with labels is because the labels already had they already plugged in they already have these plugs in already so um, excuse me I thought I had to sneeze so they're already plugged in. So if they're already plugged in, it's easy for you to get, for, for them to, to move your music in, in order for them to um, get paid. See, for you, it's very hard because number one, you have to start over. You have to start on your own. You have to build your own buzz. And a lot of rappers, believe it or not, they do build their own buzz. And record labels swoop right in and, and sign them. And a lot of rappers, they don't know the business side of it. What they do is, even music, musicians, they ain't rappers, musicians. They don't know the music side of it. So they, I mean, the, um, the business side of it. So what they do is they just sign because they throw a couple million dollars out and maybe say, oh, I'll give you, you sign, you sign a three album deal to this label. I'll give you, you know, I'll give you two million. 
Not, not telling you that a lot of that money has to be paid back. Then they put you, they may put you in a 360 deal, whereas that you can't, your, uh, your, your tour money, they keep it. You know, anything you making is pennies off the dollar when it comes to your streams. That's another thing too, I think, that we, uh, a lot of people don't understand how streaming works. Streaming now, a lot of these record labels, they have what they call streaming farms. And even if you're not popular, you become plugged in, they put your, they, they, they do your, put your music through their streaming farm. And now you go from having, I don't know, 150, 150 streams in one hour to, to, to 150,000 streams in one hour. You know what I'm saying? So this is the type of stuff that, that you deal with when you're, when you're um, dealing with you versus the, the record industry. You have a lot of power. But again, how would I say this? Again, I mean, you can do it all yourself. You build your own buzz. You have to, really it ain't even about building the buzz. It's really about getting people to like you. Because you can have a buzz. I mean, I guess that's the same. You can have a buzz and people like you, but, well, you can have a buzz and people don't know you. I, I, I can, it's not the same. Because some people would be like, oh, I never heard his music, but you have a buzz. But you got to get people to like you. That's the thing. You got to be appealing, whether it's positive. Excuse me, man. I'm tired. <clears throat> whether it's positive or negative. You got to get people to like you. And I think that that's where we come in, when you come in at, where the record label builds your image up. Now, if you have the, you have the, I'm going to tell y'all right now, everybody. If you don't have an identity, you're not going to make it in the, in the music business. You have to have some type of identity, whether you your identity is maybe yourself. Plain old me. That might be your identity, but you have to have an identity. If you don't have an identity, you're never going to make it in the game. So the music industry provides this identity, this story, this backstory for you. You could do all that yourself. You don't need the industry to do that for you. You just got to work hard at it. You got to put, get your foot in the door, plug yourself in. You know what I mean? But first start with a good, a good five, I would say a good 10, a good 10 singles, I'm going to say. I'm not going to say five, I'm going to say 10. Start with a good 10 singles that you promote in maybe two a month and do a couple of visuals, a couple of videos. You don't have to do, you don't have to do a bunch of videos, do a bunch of videos with B-roll. Just do a bunch of visuals where people people see you. You know what I'm saying? People see you and they know you and get yourself into into the the YouTube algorithm <clears throat> or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So now you're a part of it. And you have to pay for some promotion. A lot of y'all out here don't want to pay for promotion. Y'all don't want to y'all don't want to pay for someone to promote you. It's a part of the game. You have to pay to be seen because again a lot of times people don't have this you can't just think that you're going to put your video on youtube and everybody's going to see it you have to go and find yourself a good source where they share your your videos to people who actually watch them not people that buy views people that actually watch them you know even if they're not paying attention they're actually watching it so and then you have to pay you know get yourself a, a, a banner whether you paying for a, a world star not world star uh, uh i guess world star put yourself on their page or whatever anywhere where you know there's hip-hop or, or music anywhere where your niche is found you find yourself doing that and you should be all right you know a lot of these up-and-coming hip-hop artists, they don't know what to do or where to go. Even musicians don't know what to do or where to go. They just put themselves in these positions where they're hot and they're actually good and they don't need a record label and they they don't know how to, the money comes in. Another thing too, you gotta be patient. The money's gonna come. 
a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all out here, y'all, y'all want to be success, y'all want to be a success story overnight, and a record label throw a couple of dollars at y'all, and all of a sudden y'all give them all y'all rights. And it's like, oh yeah, now you're signing to a three album deal where they don't even tell you when the albums are coming out. The albums could be twenty years apart, which means you can't do no music now. Which means even if you do music, you have to go through them. Even if you drop a mixtape, anything that you drop, you got to go through them. So I think that that's what us as musicians got to uh, pay attention to. So in closing, what I would say is you guys go online, look up how to get my music on iTunes, how to get my music on Spotify, how to get my music on on uh, any of these sites. And they'll tell you. And, and for a small fee, because you're going to make that back in the long run, but for a small fee, you can put your music on these websites. And as long as you ain't sampling, and if you do sample, make sure it's masked very well, where they can't recognize it. Even though it's, it's, they can detect a lot of stuff now. But if you're sampling, you know, just make sure it's masked. Or it's, it's, it's old enough where it's not copyrighted. And if you're not sampling, you're cool. You know, some of these sites, you can actually type in the lyrics to your songs. And when you can see it. Other ones, you don't have to do all that. You know, some of them, you don't have to do it at all. You just put your song up. And promote yourself. And tell your friends to share. And tell their friends their friends to share. Even if you have to pay your friends. Be like, listen. You share this, I'll give you $5. You share this You share this five times, I'll give you $5. You share it to five groups, I'll give you $5. Who's not going to do that? People are going to be like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll share it for $5. Because they're going to be like, all right, what's $5? But when we ain't going to go to, I don't know, to the store. Grab a Dutch or whatever. That $5 come in handy. So... <laughs> You tell them, listen, you share it, you got on, you get a hundred dollars, say listen, you share my, my song in five different groups, it's a hundred dollars. Then they share every person in the in there share it five different times. How many people you think that is? It's a good amount of people. Right there. So you can build your brand, man. I'm giving y'all niggas some games, so y'all better take it and run with it. You know what I mean? So Watch your talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page, man. You know what I mean? Stay safe out there. You know, with the riots and the corona and all that good stuff. Stay safe, man. Black Lives Matter. You know, love everybody, man. Torch your talk.